guys happy new year so it's been about two weeks since i did my last video and it's been a minute since i did like a video by myself because i've been doing a lot of videos with brian but i really wanted to take the time today to make sure i put up a video today is december 31st new year's eve and you know i was wondering when i was going to take the time to look back at my new year new me or naw tag that i did at the beginning of the year and i just wanted to tell you guys if i accomplished my new year's resolutions or goals or not now i haven't looked at that video for a whole year like i said and so let's see if what i said actually happened all right okay so the very first question was what was my new year's resolution my new year's resolution was i wanted to have a full-time job and actually what happened was you guys <laughs> i did kind of fulfill that i actually got a full-time job twice this year but what ended up happening is i lost them both actually sort of kind of the same way which sucks but I, you can say I kind of fulfilled it. The next question was, what did I learn? And, you know, I said that I learned that I overthink stuff. And, you know, actually, I feel like I learned about it in 2013, but in 2014, it got worse. <laughs> and um, I became a 100% overthinker, and that's something that I actually really need to change about myself now because it was a blessing, but now it's a curse. Because now I'm someone who, if I sit down and I think about stuff, it bothers me. I have now anxiety. I have really, really bad anxiety. That's something that I have developed in the year of 2014. Now, in the video, I talked about what I should have left in 2013. And I wanted... I said that I should have left holding in my anger and actually I still did that in 2014. I held in a lot of my anger when it came to a lot of things. At the end of it though, with a lot of things, I have learned how to express my anger in a better way. But sometimes I still, I hold in my anger because I don't want to be disrespectful towards others, especially my elders because it has been times where I wanted to cuss someone who I'm supposed to respect out. But I couldn't because, you know, I have their best interest in mind. That's me overthinking. I have their best interest in mind. Want to be respectful. Don't want to cuss them out. And then it's like when it's time for me to overthink things, I don't do it. Like, I could have thought really hard how to cuss you out politely, but I didn't. So, I held in my anger and I eventually vented it out, especially like to my boyfriend or something like that. Um, In the video, um, it was a question that said, what was I looking forward to in 2014? And, um... Basically, you know, I said I was looking forward to traveling and all the memories and the adventures and I did I had a lot of memories I had a lot of adventures. I went to my first comic-con this year. Never thought I would go I actually went to more than one I went to an anime convention too, which was really really awesome I had more fun at the anime convention than the actual like superhero comic-con because it's like I don't know It's ever since I was younger growing up we will watch anime all the time. And so when I saw people who it's like, it's weird when you see like a cartoon and you, you see somebody dressed up like the cartoon and you like, oh, shucky ducky. But uh, I'll link those videos down below if you're curious to see what the hell I'm talking about. I created a lot of memories, a lot of adventures, and I'm happy that I could have shared them on YouTube, um, Facebook statuses, tweets, pictures you guys know i love taking pictures um you can follow me on instagram i'll link that down below as well i went on a lot of adventures and i did a lot of things and i never thought i would do like i saw niagara falls for the first time this year too and i never thought like in a million years i would see niagara falls and it was beautiful you guys and i'm so happy that i could just catch it on camera another question was where do i see myself working in 2014 and you know i answered it with amazing awesome people and you know this year even though i did work on and off with a a lot of different people I loved everyone and I also grew closer to people who I worked with in 2013 in 2014 and I really loved it um shout out to Amy I love me some Amy um yeah you guys it's just this year it was awesome I did I got to work with some really awesome people but I'm not gonna lie my the best group of people who I worked with this year specifically was when I worked the international auto show that was a blast everyone who I met the crew you know the people who I went on shoots with it it was like fantastic you guys and shout out to my friend Shana because she is someone who I worked with I went to school with her but then we actually worked together and it was awesome like we make a good team and from that our friendship grew like a lot all right so one of them was uh what was my YouTube goals of 2014 
dog. My, okay, my main one was I wanted to reach a thousand subscribers. I now have 1,147 subscribers, you guys. Like, that makes me so happy. Not only did I reach my goal, but I exceeded it. Like, I'm almost to 1,200 subscribers. So, the other one was what will I do with my money in 2014? And I wanted to spend it on other people. I wanted to give things away. I wanted to get stuff for other people. And I can honestly say, I did that <laughs> in 2014. Um, I mean, I didn't get as much things as I would like, but I did give. I got my mama walk. She had been wanting one for so long. I actually blogged that day, so I'll link that video down below too if, if you want to see me surprise my mom with a walk. And the last question was, how will I spend my time this year? And, you know, my answer was, you know, with my family or at the time when I was dating someone in Canada, I wanted to do that. And to be honest, you guys, like I did, I spent a lot of time here and at the beginning of the year in Canada, probably up until like July. And, you know, this year it was just a roller coaster because I found out a lot of things about myself. I found out a lot of things about other people. I lost a couple of friends, got some new friends, some friends that I never thought I would feel like are like. Like my lifelong friends. Now I don't need to list off every single thing that I was blessed with this year because I'm not one not to brag but I'm not one to just throw out all my blessings because I know what I was blessed with and I know that I was blessed with an abundance because things could have went way worse than what they did this year. I had an awesome year. You know I lost love. I found love. My family grew. My family is growing into something that I feel like will bloom possibly sometime this year shoot could be tomorrow i just want to say thank you guys so much for you know watching my videos being a part of the jazzy panda nation and i'm just really happy that my youtube channel is growing every single day i see my analytics 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 mm. That's a word I can't pronounce. I see them and I'm happy to see that they're rising, you guys. I just feel like in 2015, it will be better. And it's just, some people say you shouldn't wait until the next year to actually try to fulfill your goals and stuff. But F what they say. If you want to wait until another year to fulfill your goals, then do so. And you do it hard and you go hard. And when they see that you fulfill them, it ain't nothing they can say but congratulations or hate in the corner. Because they ain't going to be able to tell you nothing. So, <laughs> with that being said, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Happy New Year, and I'll see you next year. Bye.